Hello my lovelies, it is a beautiful sunny morning as I'm filming this. I thought I'd come on and we'd craft together and chat and we'd see where the day takes us. I have got a cup of tea. You're a bit close actually. Let me just lift you up a little bit. Bear with, bear with. Sorry about that, that's better. Blue is sitting on the windowsill. Anyway, I need to make a little book. I wonder if you can guess what's in this box. I've covered it with beautiful paper from Stamparia, the forest collection, I think it's called Forest. And inside is a little bear. This is one that I've knitted for a work colleague who's having a baby. She doesn't know whether she's having a boy or a girl. It is a, a bit boyish, isn't it? <laughs> he's got his little, he's got his little jacket on to keep him warm. And this little bear is called Bentley. So um, you may already have seen a woolly pod that features him, but he's going to go back in his little box and we're going to make a little book that tells his story. And um, I've cut a cover, although stupidly, I'm probably going to need a spine. So I'm going to have to cut a cover again, but that's just going to fit in really nicely in the box. And I've cut some pages just slightly shorter there are funny measurements so i can't score them so i'm just going to very carefully press and fold like this and i'm going to glue them together to make a little book and i've got down by my feet it's a right mess i have got um two scratch drawers I'll show you in a minute I've got a selection of stamps I've kind of made a little story up in my head about this little bear Bentley so let's just glue these together to make the insert for my book so I'm just going to stack that on top of that like so dead easy dead quick I really want this to be quick so um, I'm going to be using scraps out of my scraps bins um, I've got some browns and neutrals ready to go and I have got uh, multicolored so the aim is that I'm going to use some backgrounds I've got my little paper trimmer ready to cut and I've got a selection of stamps that I think are going to fit the bill okay so I know that that is two and five eighths let me just check now blue's got off my paper trimmer I can do that so um yeah it's two and five eighths by two and a quarter roughly so that should fit in there like that. Yes, you see, I'm going to need to um, make make a little cover with a spine. But what I could do with is a little bulldog clip to clip those together. I will do that. Hold on a minute. And then we can talk about what size we want our pages to be. I've got dogs everywhere. And Blue's looking at me like I'm mad. Some clips somewhere. Come on, where are you? There's one. There's another one. Right, so I'm just going to clip those together so they stand a chance of kind of um what's the word I'm looking for? Come on, Ashley, find your words. Staying in place. So um I'm going to do this in centimetres because my paper trimmer is in centimetres. So it's five and a half by roughly seven. So I want just under. Just under seven by just under five and a half so I kind of go halfway between the half centimetre and the full centimetre so I get kind of like a, a quarter centimetre and then we'll see if this fits my page let 
need that a bit smaller. What did I say that was? Oh, it's six and a half, you numpty. So, yeah, just under six and a half. I want that little bit of colour on there. So we'll try you. Well, let's cut it at that and see. No measuring here today. That will be bob on for that page. So I think I'm going to do like a little cover on that. Um, and let's get my blending tool. We'll get gathered twigs ready. Yeah, so um, I've had great fun knitting that there. I'll tell you what, though. Is that gathered twig? No, it's forest moss. I don't want forest moss. I thought it looked a bit strange. Um, I've had great fun knitting up there but I tell you I think I am getting arthritis or something in my fingers because um doing that really fine fiddly making up it did hurt my fingers a little bit typical blue wants to be left out now let out now come on then There, she's gone. They say never work with children and animals, don't they? Now, you see, if I was really, really in the mind, I'd keep that little scrap. In fact, it is going in my scraps thing for um, something. But those little bits can get gone. Now, I've got, as I say, a little selection of um, stamps. And um, this is the one I'm going to have as Bentley. I'm just going to stamp him in black. Don't know where this stamp came from. It's very old. It's a uh, oh artwork by Lisa Hinsley, whoever that might be. And you see, I'm so used to using photopolymer or clear stamps. I'm a bit mmm. Uh, Look, see, I've missed a little bit of his foot out, but that doesn't matter because we can draw it. We have the technology. We have the technology. Let's come in with you and we'll just sketch that in like that. And the first page is my name is Bentley. So I'm going to write here. Bentley, please look after me. I like marmalade. On toast. Now, I haven't decided whether I'm going to number the pages or not yet. Let's rip a bit of paper here and we'll ground him a little bit because otherwise he looks like he's just floating in thin air or on thin air. Uh, there we go. There he is. I'm not going to even colour him in because he's got a bit of colour. And we'll do a little bit there like that so he looks like he's sitting on a little hill. That is the first page. Now, as I say, um, I think I've got 11 ideas for pictures. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, silly me. I need to do another one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight will be enough because I'm going to be here all day otherwise, aren't I? Okay, and that can go on there like that. So I'm going to use my fine glue. I've got something wrong with my... Um... See, that's not glued very well together, is it? Never mind. Um got something wrong with my thing on this glue doobry firkin there we go make sure we get you the right way up 
Yes, I don't know whether I'm going to number the pages or not yet. Okay, there we go. Make sure that's on straight. So, my name is Bentley. Please look after me. I like marmalade on toast. Now, I could do with finding... I've got my scraps here of um, all my kind of neutrals, um, my browns and things. So, I'm looking for either some paper or um, inky background that I've done so that I can stamp Oh, I don't want I don't want to use that up do I I was thinking oh that's quite nice for inking a font but no I don't want to be using that um, mm. talk amongst yourself oh here we go here's a bit of um yeah because yes so let's cut a couple of pages so we said it was just under six and a half oh i didn't like that i think i need a new blade on this trimmer uh it is a tim holtzy one i think is it tim holtzy no it's not i don't know what it is it's very old it's the very first paper trim I, ha I had so um that is that's too narrow right and i want that splodge so right come here on this yes that's about right i'm just going to trim a little bit off there and um said it was just under five and a half so we're going there like that that should be all right because this has got um quite a lot of what's the word i'm looking for uh space i might even watercolor these now i've got this big stamp here that i love um but i don't want to stamp the whole thing so i've got some packing tape here because it's the only thing i've got to hand quickly i'm going to mask off before I ink up. I haven't got any masking tape. So, let's do that. I thought it was important to do this in real time so you can see how long these things take. So I'm doing the dad. mask off there and then just a little bit at the bottom and the top I would be better with low tack tape I think oh look oh, oh dear oh dear oh dear there we go you go there I suppose I could have used washi tape, but I haven't got any kind of cheap washi tape, if that makes sense, that I want to use on this. Right, and you can go there, like so. Right, so I've just got that little area now ready for stamping. And any bits that I miss, I can just add in with my little black pen now obviously i want to remove all of this and i'm going to put it straight in my rubbish bag and let's see 
if we can get that kind of centered like that. Oh, look, see, that's quite cute. That's quite cute. And I've just got a little bit missing. So I can come in with my pen here. It's just literally this little bit here, this little paw like that. Nobody would ever know, would they? And I think I'm going to get an acrylic block and swipe a little bit of this on. watercolour in. Let's get a little bit of a uh, water brush going on if I can find my water brush. There it is. Okay. And I'm just going to paint it. And I'll do his little, little bow, perhaps in a blue. I want Randy's nose to be a little bit darker. A bit more colour there. And then um, I might do a little bit of pink in his ears. go right squeeze out that water let's get a bit of kitchen paper i think i need a little slurp of tea now uh yeah slurp of tea um right cover out the way because you're not right anyway now should we go a bit of um let's go a bit of prize ribbon for his for his little Bow. I only need the merest little touch. That is all I need. Little drop of water. So how is everybody today? Are you all all right? I need a fine brush now. So there's a little bit of brown in there, but never mind. So I'm just going to paint that in. And that's page two done. Except I haven't done his ears. Uh, water brush. Clean brush. And there we go. So, um, do I want to colour his ear in pink? I think I'll have a little bit of, um, not right for Simon Ashley, you don't want an orange ear. Tattered rose, Victorian velvet, could do with sponge sugar or kitsch flamingo. Here we go, kitsch flamingo. Little tiny, oh, I say a little tiny bit, that's quite a lot, isn't it? And I should have a bit of water really to blend it, but never mind. There we go, just a little bit of a little bit of pink in his ears. Blend like that a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna put that's right right down. This is my dad, Bentley. No, he's Bentley. Uh this is my dad Barker. Glue it in. There we go. Oh, look, you see what I mean about my glue? I don't know why it's doing that. Is it because it needs more glue in it? I don't know. If anybody can let me know, I'd be ever so grateful. So then we need to stamp Mum, who's called Bertha. There we 
Okay. That's that little bit. Right, so let's cut a couple of pieces the same size as this. So um, I've forgotten what it was now. It was just under five and a half by six and a half. So we'll do do several of this or a couple anyway. Do two more in this, I think. I'm running out of room, folks. I'm running out of room. So just under six and a half. By five and a half. Just under, just a smidge. Does that fit? Or is it too big? Perfect Mundo. And another one. In fact, we do two. So it's just under... Just under five and a half by just under six and a half. That'll give me a little bit of real estate to play with. I'm going to chuck those little bits, don't need them. They're roughly the same size, that's two pieces. Uh, let's do this one just under. We'll do it this way, just under six and a half. By just under five and a half. Okay, now um, just put that down there. That's a scrap. These are what I'm working on. Right, next thing then, I need to mask off this again. So looking at the bear, I think I want uh, this one. This one to be the mum, actually. And that's easy enough done, isn't it? Because she's got a little jumper on with hearts on it. So that's quite sweet. It is a waste of packing tape, I am aware of that. Oops, that's my little... So it's just literally that. And then... One of the things I've... One of the things that I keep meaning to try is making my own washi tape out of micropore tape. Have any of you guys done that? Um, so many things I want to try, but it's just time at the moment. I'll cut this bit. Oh, cut this bit in half. So we just cover that up there. And this here. And then there's only one more. Uh, stamp. I want to stamp off this block so I can get this block out of the way then and the parcel tape out of the way. Right, black ink Ashley. So this is the mum. In fact actually you know what, I'm just going to do a little bit of light stenciling on this first. So it's like a little bit of a wallpaper background. And I'm going to come in with um, a bit of this. Just like that. Just like that. Not like that. Not like that. Did anybody else like Tommy Cooper? My granddad loved him. Right. Here we go. That is that inked up. Just double check. Oh, look, I've got me dabbed my finger in it. It's no wonder my projects always get a bit of dirt on them because I'm always getting in a right mess. Now, let's have a look and we'll see. It doesn't matter if it... I bet I've gone off the page, you know, that's the thing. What I should have done is gone, oh, that's fine, actually, look. So it looks like she's got wallpaper. Before I do the next bit, before I kind of decorate that, I'm going to do this so I can get this stamp out of the way. 
Uh, yes, I want. So I want this little baby bear next. Do I? Or do I want that bear at the end? Doesn't really matter. Um, perhaps I'll do the bear at the end because he's easier to mask off. Yeah. Just a little bit here. Been ages already. Yes, I need to try and get to the post office today, so I hope the uh, sun will continue to shine. It certainly is very nice out there right now. Right, I don't need that tape anymore. Let's pop you in there. Pop you there and get one of my little bits. Hold on, let's just get that straight. Like so. Get one of my little pages. Give you a little stencil as well. Give you a little bit of bit of orange at the top, I think. Like so. So it's like a little bit of vintage wallpaper. Oh, yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, inking up the little bird. Then we can do some painting. I've had this stamp many, many years and I love it. I have used it in its entirety. Um, right, that can go there. Right, so we'll have you about there. Actually, maybe this could be the mum and that's the baby sister oh look so i'm going to color her in and i'm gonna yeah so this is going to be the mum let's lost the plot guys right a bit more of this And a bit of water. I'm just do a little paint, little paint. Actually, I'm going to use my water brush because it's quite a big area. So this is the mum. Mixing that colour in. We'll have a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo for the ear again. And you see where I'd got that um, watercolour, the, the distress um, from the stencil, actually didn't matter because the brown goes over it. Got to decide what colour I'm going to do this little bear's jumper. Might do salvaged patina and kitsch flamingo. Kitsch flamingo for the heart. Right, squeeze out the dirtiness. Wipe on tissue paper or kitchen paper. Wipe acrylic block. Let's do kitsch flamingo. Um, um, where are you, pitch flamingo? Oh, I put you back, I think. Yes, I did. There we go. Got quite a lot of kitsch flamingo there and a bit of water. Got my... F oh, no, Ashley, you don't want to do that. You don't want to mix your brown up with your pink. You'll get a right muddy colour. I don't know why on earth I'm talking like that. I really don't. That's better. 
I think that's pretty much got it clean. So, little bit of ear pinkage, ear pinkage, ear pinkage. I bet I'm not in shot at all. And ear pinkage there. There we go. Then I want some nice bright pink. On these little hearts this is a size zero paintbrush because in the first lockdown i did some painting by numbers and the brushes that came with them were absolutely shockingly bad the canvases were lovely but the brushes they were just too big for um what you needed you know Kitch Flamingo can now go back and let's see if we can find salvaged patina. I bet I can't. Tumbled glass. I don't want tumbled glass. Um, hmm. Talk amongst yourselves. Speckled egg. No. 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 I don't know where it is. Maybe. Oh, maybe we'll go peacock feathers then. Little bit of peacock feathers but we will dull it down with some water and then I need to ink around the edges of these and I didn't want to do that okay here we go painting in the little bear's jumper Just realised I've painted part of this bear. Bear's jumper brown. There we go. There. Okay, so let's ink round the edges. Pop you there so I don't get mixed up. That can go out of the way. Just take off a bit of excess of that. And boop, 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 boop. So... The brown just ties everything together. So we've got, Dad is called Barker, I think. This is my dad, Barker. My mum, Bertha. And my baby sister. My little sister. What shall we call the little sister? Because I had got a brother. Little sister. Um, mm, buttercup. No. Belinda. Full stop. So we can glue these little ones. It looks like my glue's done it again. I don't know why it is doing that. It's very wasteful. Very wasteful. don't need those little clips anymore at the moment they can just go there at the side so there we go just making sure that is centered on that little page so we've got my name is Bentley please look after me I like marmalade on toast this is my dad Barker, my mum Bertha and my little sister Belinda. Should have put baby, but she's not a baby, she's a toddler bear. Um, 
Okay. It's a tad wide and a tad too short, but that's fine. It still closes. Okay, now, um, I want to come in. I don't know whether that is too big. I wanted to do the little mouse with the ice cream. But how many pages have I got left? I've got one, two, three, potentially four. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I want to do a bird, sheep, fairy. So, mouse can go. So, um, I like looking at the window and watching the sheep. So, I'm going to take these out of the way. And I'm going to look for some multicoloured ones. Oh, no, I know what I need. I need my blues and greens. Bear with a minute. Blues and greens. Oh, that's nice. And that is. Yes. And that. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, what, mind you, I want to. That's green. Let's see if I've got blue and green together. And make it look like that okay three pages left to do and then I've got to figure out how I'm going to do the cover so um I've got another stamp somewhere where has it gone here it is um so I'm going to stamp these sheep on I want a bit of blue and a bit of green we'll do it We'll do it on this bit actually. Let's cut you down first of all. So I want so just under five and a half will give me that. By just under six and a half will give me that. I've got some little Lavinia stamps as well. I've got a green blending tool here. Let's just see if this fits on here. It does. Excellente. Let's get green blending brush and another stencil. Just going to lightly add a bit of foliage. Like so. Just using the ink that's already on my brush. There we go. And then I'm just going to ink up in black. I like this one with the squiggles on. Going to ink a bit more than I need. Go like that there. So we've got various shape and I've missed the top of that a little bit but it doesn't matter because I can go in with my little pen it's where there's Lindy's Magicals actually I think there's Lindy's Magicals on this so I can just go in with that so I like to watch the sheep I like looking mm, I love watching I like to look out the window I like to look out of the window and watch the sheep we'll just go around the edge with a little bit of green on this And glue onto the next page. Yeah, I can't make the book too big because otherwise it wouldn't fit in the box. There we go. 
and I want to do a little scene with the birds. Oh, and I see that's nice, isn't it? Yes, I think I'm going to do this bit here, is it? Yeah, so just under. Five and a half. I just ended at six and a half. Perfect. So I've got a little bit of blue at the top and a bit of green here. And then I want this, I think, for my other one. So just under five and a half. That looks. Mm. and it looked a bit wide by just under six and a half that's a shame I don't want to I don't want to lose that I don't want to lose that either never mind there we go I'll take those scraps out of the way so those are my last pages so on this again I want a little bit of foliage I'm just going to bring in a bit of forest uh, uh sorry mowed lawn we've got in the right right mess here and i don't know why i'm doing it with that i don't know what i'm doing guys okay now i do want bit of this and I've got my meadow grass which is one of my faves if I can find it I'll pop you on a block I've got a lot of tidying up to do after this I tell you because I might need you for the last piece and a little bit of mode lawn there we go that is all I want on that and then I've got my little birds I don't need my water brush anymore. But I think I'm not going to do any more painting. Um, where are you? Little birds, come to me. Oh, yes, that's what I was going to do. I wanted a little pippin. So Pippin is amongst the grass. Oh, I love the little speckles on this. So he's hiding in the grass, his little Pippin. Uh, look, see? I do love Pippin. Right, stamp you off. Pop you away. Then I think actually, as I've got my thing out, I'm going to do a bit more um, grass just down the bottom. And I do like rustic wilderness. It's a very nice green there. And a little bit up there. Just adds a little bit of framing. So then I'm going to write. I. I've got a little friend. No, um, what did I put? Sometimes I see a hair. So 
sometimes I see a hair in the garden. Right, let's glue that on. I believe I've been, <laughs> been 46 minutes making this but look I just I, I love Lindy's Magicals I think that's Lindy's Magicals in the background there and then um, I wanted to do a bird where's my other birds gone so I want that with that Yeah, so um, that's going to be from a fairy, I think. Or do I want something else from a fairy? Decisions, decisions. Yes, that's from a fairy. So I want this for my little bird. I've run out of space, guys. So just under... Five and a half. I just and uh, I want that little bit of vibrant green actually. I'm going to cut there. I know I'm off camera, but um, never mind. Let's just see if this fits this page. Just want a little tiny smidge off. Just a smidge, just a little smidget. There we go. Does that fit nicely now? Yes, I want it that way. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, right, so I want this big bird here. I'm going to stick him there like that. Just fits on that little block. That's for chortles, isn't it? If I don't get a complete stamping, it's fine because I can fill in with my little black pen. And I want him in the green. There we go. I'm going to put, I like listening to the birds. Or I love to hear the birds. And then I've got these little foliage stamps here. I like this. I'm going to come in with, let's put you away first. But I've got all the interest from my speckles. I do want a little bird for the final one, I think. Um, right, so, um, yes, I want this one. And then I'm going to come in with Rustic Wilderness. Rustic Wilderness is becoming a green of choice, actually. I don't need you anymore, so you can go over there just for now. Um, yeah, Rustic Wilderness is becoming a green of choice. Oh, I know what I'm going to do first. I think I'm going to do a little branch in the top in black. Let's take you off. Yeah, 
let's do a little bit and then I can do some foliage and green oh silly woman doesn't matter did it in them um, green right lid on black let's pop you away oh uh, where's it gone there it is in its little packet there we go you on and some of you coming down like so very delicate there and then we'll have just a little bit of um, him sitting just have a little bit of grounding there, like so uh, that pin grounded lid on that we'll go round you stick you in and then I've just got one more page to do and I think what I'm going to do I'm going to have a tidy up and come back to you when I have finished so Blue is here wagging her tail and here is my little tiny book it is about two and a quarter inches this is two and a quarter inches wide by two and three quarter inches high. And I've made a little cover out of some thick craft card. It's a really good quality craft card, this actually. I don't know what the GSM is, but it's almost like a matte board weight. Anyway, here is my first page. So I've covered it up to match the box with the um, eight by eight stamp area paper. I thought it was quite a nice touch. Um, and I thought this was lovely when I was a child because it's for the baby as well as Bentley. <laughs> so um, here we go. So my name is Bentley. Please look after me. I like marmalade on toast. This is my dad, Barker. My mum, Bertha. And my little sister, Belinda. I like to look out of the window and watch the sheep. Sometimes I see a hare in the garden. I love to hear the birds. And this is the last page I did. I believe in fairies. Do you? And um, yes, maybe I should have put a little bit of tape down there. I've just used this glue, just pink frog glue. And it's for book binding as well. And I did hold it with my clips. And it fits in there beautifully here is little Bentley with his little squashed face so he can sit on a little shelf in the nursery by his little box so that is that please comment down below how do you make your little books I'm rather proud of this I do like it I think it's rather lovely I will be back soon if you did like this content please consider subscribing if you're not already and I'll be back very soon blue says bye as well see ya